Good morning, friends. I'm doing you a favor. Can you go get the chia seeds from the RV? Chia seeds, RV. Okay, guys, we're in the middle of an emergency. It's a non-emergency emergency. It's a crummy emergency, if you know what I mean. This one's bowels are struggling. So we're gonna get her a green juice and some chia seeds. Friends, chia seeds, warm them up on hot water, add a little honey, and eat chia seed pudding. Uh, Alex absolutely hates it. She thinks it's vile, but I'll tell you the greatest movements are chia seed movements. Uh, anyway, friends, our RV is still here in their incredibly enormous driveway. It has worked, and I will say this. We're leaving tomorrow. Our little friend Penelope is so upset about it. Truck won't start. Oh, God! What is thou going on? Remember that we're leaving tomorrow? Why is... Stop. What is going on with everything the day before we leave? Come on! <sighs> I need my green juice. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. You're gonna take their big van. I don't wanna drive that sucker. You need to drive that sucker. You drive this, you could drive a van. It's not that, it's not mine. Oh. Well, you need your green juice because you've gotta do the Oop, I just had one. Did the kids leave lights on? Oh no, that's just because the door is open, right? I don't know. No, that's just because the door is open. So why is the battery dayed? Unbelievable. That better not be an alternator issue. This is exactly why I've been cutting out all of the problems because I don't want it to look like I've got a lot of problems, but I've got 99 problems and this RV and truck are all of them. However, uh, we'll get them fixed and then be good, and we'll keep going. <sighs> that was supposed to be about a green juice, and now it's about a dead battery. Did you hear that made my heart feel better? <laughs> so you don't want us to leave? I want you to stay. How long? Forever and ever and ever. Hello! Oh, we gotta wash your hands and face. Hey, I'm gonna cut things like Santa. Mama, my face is all clean. Are there any more pancakes? I'm making more right now. Are there any in the microwavable oven? Oh, there's a billion. Ready? Go to, I'm gonna throw it to your plate. I want you to do a 10 yard slant. Right here. Yep, now turn left. Catch it. Yeah! Philip is trying to get us on the road so we can leave tomorrow. But he might be up on our roof. And I have to say, since this pregnancy, um, work hours are very different. Sometimes I am working at 4.30 in the morning because I get hungry and everyone is sleeping and so I might as well get work done then, but then I sleep after breakfast. <laughs> okay. Progress? I sure hope so. Okay. So you think maybe water's coming in from that crease oh, I mean, line. All these seals are kind of old. And yeah, they're a little cracked. Seal it, and so this is my pathetic attempt to see it on the ground. This is what it looked like. It doesn't look moldy. It just looks like. It's weathered. So like all yeah. of these, all of these little places have rust in it, which means water's gotten within the middle. So it could be dew. It could be water. But yeah. This whole track is water, right? So there's runoff. Yeah. So okay. So Jared told me. Just redo uh, the screw holes, caulking, and then screwing. Caulking and then screwing. That's that's what that's what she said. Hey, listen. Two more weeks, baby. Oh. Two more weeks, I wa baby. I want to do a video on my yeah! channel of what they don't tell you about IVF or infertility treatments. Um, 
pelvic rest is something that no one goes into pelvic fertility rest puts tra treatment me to the test. It does put you to the test. No one tells you that until you do IVF. I'm sure it's not every doctor, but every doctor I've, I have heard um, first trimester. Dr. Hatch is the worst of them, but she is She's the, the best most conservative, of them. but my friends are all on pelvic rest that have done IVF. So, first trimester? Not awesome. Really not awesome. I feel like that's, I feel like that's a G-rated version of saying it too. So Mommy, this though. Mommy, excuse me. Yes, baby. This is maybe to tell from my sister and see me. You can't get on. I, where did your helmet go? Why are you borrowing? Let's see. I don't think that fits you very well. I want to wear it. Too. I know, but it just needs to cover your forehead and not wiggle around. Well, it doesn't miss that when I. Like that. Riding. Okay. Well, show me you riding. You are so fast. You need a pedal bike. Do you have a tiny pedal bike she could practice on? Our smallest one is big. big. No, it needs to be tiny, tiny. Good morning, friends. How are you? Also, good morning, campers. Alex is giving herself- Hang on! <laughs> Coming in hot this morning. Coming in hot. Friends, injection wait, season, wait, wait. getting I, better. Guys, wait, guess what? We started to trick. ice it a lot more. No, no, no. Ice after, okay. Did you remember how bad it was? And like this one was gnarly. See how like there's like clearing up spots? This is from icing it for five minutes after. Ice before, ice after. Kinsley, are you sad? Why? We're leaving Well, we're leaving today. today. Are you sad about that? No, I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to leave either. So sad we're leaving. <laughs> Uh, friends, you'll have to follow their journey. We're trying to get them to go on the YouTube thing. Also, Magical Pregnancy Unicorn. <sighs> doesn't get better than that. Uh, it does get close though, because right now, we have made some incredible progress on the RV. You're thinking, did you break again? No, but I'm fixing all of the things that have been broken, if you know what I mean. Uh, we got new tires because our back axle wore out two of the tires, so we had to get new ones. We did all of the weather stripping. Sam right now and I are fixing the awning. If you guys remember that moment, Oh, not my favorite moment, a very scary moment when we were in New Mexico passing through and the awning flapped down and tore off. We are now securing it with our Eternabon tape. That stuff is legit. If you're an RVer, keep it with you at all times, always. Also, this is kind of like an, an aluminum tape. Uh, and why is it amazing? Let me tell you, we have weatherproofed this sucker like crazy because we're heading into rain. We did all of the top. I actually have a picture right here. I'm not gonna go up there right now of our weatherproofing paint but this guys super proud of this goes all the way around there will be no more moisture in my cone in the name of jesus we fixed it we've really spent some significant time over the last few days fixing this rv getting it ready this is why we got dude you did a great job this is a part of our awning that got destroyed sam asked me yesterday are you leaving better than when you came and i said honestly yes he says uh how about your stress level because you came in pretty hot and i said yeah um, we had a lot of things that we really needed to fix like this. We even had a bolt missing friends that was making this shake like crazy. Yes, you can. Is something else broken? It's RV life guys. We're easy going and we're learning how to fix things immediately. So Sam asked me the other day and he says, Phil, what is your stress level when you got here? And I said, probably an eight, nine, 10, 11. And he said, well, how about now? I said, I'm at a, like a one because we got so much done and I feel so like I am not only prepared for what's coming, but I fixed what was already broken as well. So we're prepared for the future and we're protected today. I think there's a spiritual lesson in that. We should preach a sermon on it. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, that, that'll that preach itself. I think it will. That'll... What? Can I whisper something in your ear? Yeah, whisper something in my ear. And there's... You cannot play a video game right now, but you can. <laughs> but maybe, you can ride your bike. Maybe a little bit. You can help mommy, and maybe when we're all set, maybe. Maybe she okay, likes to pretend. About pregnancy, because now they're ton tired about hearing about RV. Maybe we can pretend she plays Mario Kart, because I like Mario and I think it's cute. But we have destroyed their house. Like we took over their dining room, so it's the room that you don't usually use. But we are going to clean up this space we took over this entire area with just stuff and then they let us borrow their second fridge <laughs> and fill the whole thing <laughs> thank you thank you, you. Have a fridge. okay listen alex is so gross 
She made this bone broth. And then she I eats it up. It's weird. It is so weird because the other day I went over and looked at it and I was like, oh, you're drinking coffee. <laughs> Turns out it's bone broth. Mm -hmm. mm. It's delicious. Mm. It's amazing. No, but. If you want to be a normal human being, no, not normal. I can't diss people. If you drink bone broth, more power to you. I'll stick with my coffee. <laughs> you drink all the bone broth. <laughs> I would say that this is pregnancy, but I, I, I do this not pregnancy. This has been a hard Monday morning right here. Already knocking it back with the soy sauce. <laughs> Welcome to pregnancy. Mm -mm. I do this not, not pregnant. It's so good. Taste it. Um, it's just like our soup we had the other day. Okay, it is good. Maybe it's just that it's in a coffee cup. <laughs> when I see a cup, I'm like, oh my gosh, that cup of joe. And I think if I were to take a drink of that, I'd be like, Ooh. like who peed in my cup or something? <laughs> <laughs> you literally would pick it up and be like, there's floaty things uh. in there. <laughs> too far, too far. <gasps> I will help you. You are the cutest. You guys are the cutest. I feel like I'm gonna... <laughs> Not horrible, like not run to the bathroom, but we're gonna go eat lunch before we get everything backed up. I'm helping. Ding dong ditch. <laughs> Ding dong ditch. <laughs> I think I need to eat. I definitely need to eat more protein. I'm eating like I normally would eat, like the normal things I would eat, and I don't eat a lot of meat. So we are going to go out, and I am going to get steak. Ooh. I love steak. You want steak too? Mm hmm Okay. I love steak. You love steak. I love you. And I love steak and I love you too. Ah, I love you too. Mm. She was so cuddly this morning. I was so sad I didn't have the camera. You were so sweet. So much cuddles. You are just cuddly, huh? Yeah. Cuddle bug, cuddle bug. <sighs> Can you hold my hand for a minute? Of course, baby. You are so big. I love this one. Yeah, it's just wobbly. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Trailer's fixed. Truck won't start. Ah. Okay. Everyone out of the tank. Alright, you ready? One for you. Awesome. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. When you try to get in the truck and it doesn't work. You go out to lunch in the tank, and everyone comes to lunch. We're all together. Friends, Triple A is here. He just called me and told me something okay, that learned. you can't replace one okay. battery. You have yeah. to replace both. You guys Otherwise, need to know this. We have the two, other battery. Not hard. We have two batteries in our truck. We bought Triple A battery last time. Should have bought two. Didn't know that. No. One died, and it basically killed, killed the, the other, other one. one. So one is under warranty, grateful for that. So we have to buy one battery, we get two brand new batteries and we're gonna hit the road today? No. It's really late. Nope, tomorrow. tomorrow. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> and you're never gonna have guests at your house ever again. Oh, that's strong. I love that sound. We're gonna be getting on the road. I still think I should wear a wig every day. You should. You can wear a pink. Good morning, campers. Good We're finally days. leaving it's today. Texas is 20 degrees. Oh my! God. My wife is wearing a pink wig, Woo and we're leaving. I'll pass you off to Alex because I'm making the greatest breakfast of all time: chili quiles. Here's the thing. They keep saying they're leaving, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> the truck We're okay with this. Today. We're oh, okay no, no, with no, this. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. We the have battery. a battery problem. Right. Don't say it broke. That's hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at the point that you have nine people in your family, four more is not that big of a deal. No, but we're heading to places that have 20 degree temperatures that feel like 15. That's why they should Alex stay here. Alex walked outside. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you need to, because you missed it this morning when she walked outside. But you were the one who put it on your Instagram. I know, you should totally check me out on Instagram. <laughs> but the longer they stay here, the more chances they have of their hair turning pink. So next is Phil. Oh, oh you gotta take a look, bye. Phil You had it in here. I didn't touch it. Yeah. I never put it up there. 
Run, run, run. Twenty degree weather. Oh, Kinsley, get back inside. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Friends, we are leaving uh, in the next hour. Once that Alex gets back, our RV is gonna no longer be here. Uh, however. It's like 20 degrees outside. I am very cold. It was much colder. It was probably 10 degrees cooler about two hours ago. That's kind of why we stopped packing up for the moment because I'm not used to this. We made it, it's freezing though. Okay, I'll go get you some water. Friends, I got into the RV. All, everybody was still in the hot car. Was the car so warm? It is late, 9.30ish p.m. The RV, when I came in here, this looks fake. That says 48. It was 38 degrees in here. Fahrenheit, for those that are not on our system here in America. How about I get you some water? Okay. Turn the heater on. Can you tell them we got gloves when it was 78 degrees? Yeah, we bought gloves when it was 78 because we knew it was going to get cold. Well, we should just have them. No, yeah. we didn't think it was going to get cold. We were like, oh, no, we no, no, no. I them. knew it was going to get cold. I didn't know that an Arctic blast from Canada was coming. That's ice water. Here you go, Kins. Yeah. Little lady, here's your water. They slept the whole way here. So now we woke them up to move them. I know. This is why I do have to say, I am going to say it on camera, but. Say it. This is why I asked you to make their beds before we left. Totes? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, you guys but you know what? Dad's the man. I know. And he got us all set up. He got us driven and, here. And you I fixed it. the RV. By I yourself. leveled it. By yourself. You I did nothing. You have to come I'm the man. Yeah. You have to come feel this. It's really warm. Is it really warm? Okay. Ooh, we buy applesauce. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ooh, that's so warm. Oh, I wish I had a onesie. <gasps> We've got a unicorn onesie. We need to do a who wore it better on the onesie, I think. Is that silly? Is that a laugh, Callie? Who's happy we're back in the RV? I <laughs> Just like, I don't know, it's 48 degrees in here. Stay back. <laughs> this is officially our coldest night we've ever been in here. Guys, what? I can smoke my dad's shirt. Dad. Well, it's 30 that is. Can you tell him it's going to be 26 degrees blah, 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 tonight? Blah, blah. What is it gonna be? 26. 26? Oh boy. I gotta go get the flashlight that's dying. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Friends, I love it. I love RV life. Happy to be back. We love getting to go visit our friends. Uh, we love being a blessing to others. Alex, how are you feeling at 11 ish weeks? 11 and a half. 11 and a half? Let's see. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, by the way, her bruises are going down because she realized she just ices them more. So Instead of better. icing them, just go outside because it's literally freezing outside. Yeah, it's it's going to be 26 degrees. But look, I... You're, you're so cute. I promised that we weren't going to talk about intestinal issues P -O -O -P. anymore. P-O-O-P. I'll just put the emoji here. Ding. Okay, but the green juice that I shared on Instagram story... Delish. That I was literally last week. And chia seeds and stuff like that. I'm feeling better. <laughs> okay, we are finally back in the RV. It's been half an hour and I need 11 Z's. <laughs> I need snack before bed. It's like, what time is it? 10 something? I need to get my shots. <gasps> I get to wean down on my meds slowly. I'm going down on the progesterone a little bit and I'm going down to two patches instead of three. I don't know if you guys knew how many patches I was on, but in typical Alex fashion, some bra for late night snack. And Philip doesn't have pants on. Oh yes. Oh no, you do. Sorry. I thought, I that, was, I thought that was your pants in your hands. I have pants on. Don't, you're always trying to show me off. <laughs> always. 
I understand why, but. It's nice to be back in here. It's loud because it's, the heater is running. You can't hear us. It's 60 degrees. Guys, I came in here, it was 28. 60. 10 more degrees and it'll be comfortable. I'm like shocked at how, I'm shocked how warm it is in here. Feels better. The girls are double fleece blankets, or fleece jammies, two blankets. They're gonna be great. Tucked in like crazy. I need to go make our bed. Don't you know that you're beautiful?